I bet you will want to have a cat right after fully watching this video, if you don't have one already in your house. Prophet Muhammad was aware of the mysterious reality about the cats. Cats. They are full of secrets with their weird behaviors. Have you ever thought that they might have a superior skill? Researchers have discovered such secret of them that you will be quite amazed at what you are about to hear. If you are ready to listen about mystery of the cats, those with picture of being second living creature after the first human Adam, let's start. Those have a cat at home know well. Sometimes your cat focuses on an irrelevant spot as if it is in a communication with something that you can't see. This is quite creepy running after something that doesn't even exist, suddenly running and hiding when there is not a single reason. Let's admit, cats are really weird creatures. Moving on the spiritual side of the topic we realize, cats are important animals that take places in a spiritual studies throughout the history. You must have seen people dealing with magic kind of stuffs always walk around with a cat. Because there is a different kind of will between cats and creatures of fourth dimension according to thousands of years of belief. More preciously, a lot of people think this. God knows the best. But I'm sure that you will be convinced about superior power of cats compared to other livings after the things I'm about to tell you. Especially Prophet Muhammad's experiences with cats and the things he said about them are so interesting. Incredible features of cats that has just been discovered by scientists were already notified to us by a prophet 1400 years ago. According to Islamic belief, one of the two animals that was created after first human Adam was cat and the other one was snake. It's like a supernatural skill was given to cats having been created right after the first human prophet Adam for people to utilize. That's why never forget that if a cat approaches you and rubs you, this can be a sign and instead of it's being hungry. The issue is about you. Soon I will come back to this stunning topic, but before, let's talk about what Prophet Muhammad had been through with cats and what kind of message he gave us about them. Prophet Muhammad had a black and white Ethiopian cat called Mueza. She had some stains on its upper palate. Now you can check if your cat descent from Prophet Cat Mueza. Because today it's believed that cats with upper palate stains descend from Mueza. During his Uhud expedition with his army, Prophet came across a cat. A cat breastfeeding her babies. Besides not disturbing the cat in any way, not only he made his whole army go around, but also he left one of his soldiers as a guard to cats. This was the soldier's duty until they come back from expedition. When the expedition was over and Prophet came back, first thing he did was to adopt that kitten. Since then, cat had the honor of being his pet and Prophet named her Mueza. Prophet Muhammad loved his cat Mueza so much. One day, Mueza fell asleep on his clothes while they were sitting together. What he did when he had to get up is an exemplary behavior for all animal lovers. Not wanting to disturb sleeping and pouring cat Mueza, Prophet cut some part of his dress and got up without waking her up. I would like to remind purebred cat lovers that Mueza was a stray cat. Another strange incident, one day Prophet Muhammad saw Mueza was drinking water from his ablution container. He waited patiently to wash up for prayer. After she stopped drinking, he started to use the same water that she left in container. And that moment when one of the Sahabis said, Wait a second my Prophet, cat drank water from that container. The Prophet said, Cats have the cleanest mouth among the animals, and kept washing up for prayer. Since then, because it's accepted as a prophet sunnah, sahabis try to make cats drink water from their ablution container before they wash up for prayer.
in one hadith, Abu Qatada says that cats are not dirty animals. Let them freely walk around all over your house as if they are one of you. As we can observe today, cats spend hours to clean themselves up. Even some of them are so obsessed with cleaning, they make themselves go bald. This is called obsessive cleaning disorder. To love cats comes from fate, it said. It was talk about how they will be punished those who lock their cats in the house and let them starve in one of the hadiths that Abu Huraira referred. Some of you might know, there was a saying for people that hurt cats. If you kill a cat, you have to build seven mosques. As we can see, affection for cats is so important in Islam. But the respect and affection for cats is not only seen in Islam. Especially in the time of pharaohs, cats had such studies that killing or hurting them was a big crime and the punishment was execution. When a fire broke out, first thing to do was to save the cat. At that time, cats were believed to be superior to humans and if a cat died of natural causes, it was immediately embalmed. Of course, every single living from small to big sizes deserved to be loved and respected. Every one of them has a reason to exist in this world. But what's the thing that makes cats special? Can there be a special power given to them that we are not even aware? From now on, listen carefully. According to Abu Bakr Wasitin's sayings, one day he realized because of increasing pain all over his body and bones, he hasn't been able to remain standing for almost one year. Due to all the problems that he has been through, he wasn't even able to perform prayer right until he saved a kitten from an animal which is about to kill the kitten. It said that after mommy had came and took her kitten away, all of his pains healed in a short time. But after this, one is a strange incident. As you know, according to a hadith, whoever sees Prophet Muhammad in his dreams, sees him in reality actually. Seeing Prophet Muhammad in his dream right after the cat incident, Prophet Abu Bakr was told that healing incident was thanks to the grateful thought of the cat. Cat owners know well, sometimes cats poor. Here I show you how they do. Their sound frequency has many different impacts on our body that we can't entirely figure out yet. Impacts of every single frequency on our brain is different from another. It's discovered that cat purring between 20 140 Hz is beneficial for human health. The reason why cats come close to you might not be only because they want to be loved or they are hungry. Having lost connection with soil, having been victims of technology, we modern people might have forgotten some things, but old civilizations with more actively working episodes glands might have been aware of a few realities that we have difficulty in realizing today. Maybe they were aware of the power and energy that cats possess, that's why they always kept cats by their sides. Sounds got huge mysteries that waiting to be discovered. In Quran, Kaf Surah says, that day people will really hear that sound and this is the day of out. No doubt we kill one, we resurrect one. The return is only to us. That voice both gives lives and destroys. As you know, Angel Raphael will whiffle a wind instrument called Sur when the apocalypse comes. Just like Nikola Tesla said, energy and sound frequencies are one of the most important secrets to be discovered when we are trying to understand the universe. From 20 to 140 Hz pouring voices that cats make when they are full belly and happy have an astonishing beneficial impact both for itself and human health. It has just been discovered. In a research carried out in France, it's discovered that cats can cure tendon and nerve ending damages by purring.
it is observed that owing to the vibrations of these mysterious sounds, infection and swelling of wounds have been reduced. According to another research, cat owners have 40% less risk of having heart attack. This rate is quite high. Researchers that think cat pooing might help a lot of patients have been working over this mysterious pooing aiming to heal damaged tissues with it. If a cat comes closer to you and rubs you, it might be sharing its astral power which is unknown yet. That's why I would say think twice before pushing it around. Because if you push a cat away, in that time you might unconsciously block the positive energy it is trying to give to you. As a result of, that cat might choose to not to share it again with you. I think it will be very beneficial to make a little warning about this mysterious animal. Finally, winter is coming. Hope you don't find it extra to put a bowl of water and food to make a house which is made out of cartoon in front of your apartment for these lovely living creatures. Who knows how this favor will return to you.